Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther and today I will be teaching you how to make these beautiful flowers. I will tell you step by step how you can make it. They are very easy and simple to make. Okay, for today we need the wire stem. This is 15 and a half inches or 40 centimeters. 22 gauge wire and 26 gauge pliers, scissors, pistols, one crochet marker, and any four ply acrylic yarn. And I will be working today with a three millimeters crochet hook and we also need a hot glue gun. The petals measures eight centimeters and a half. If you want to make it uh, smaller, I made this with a 2.5 millimeters crochet hook and they are seven centimeters uh, long, so it's one centimeter and a half shorter that if you make them with the three millimeters crochet hook so you want to make the flower uh, small uh, follow the same pattern using a 2.5 millimeters crochet hook we are going to start making the petals i have five we need one more and for that we are going to start by making one slip knot on the hook and then we are going to make 14 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 12, 13, and 14 chains. Beginning in the second chain from the hook, make one single crochet, one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to make a double crochet in the next three chains. One, two, and three. In the next uh, three chains, we are going to make increases, but with triple crochet. Turn over twice and make one triple crochet. Turn over twice and one more triple crochet into the same space. And we are going to make two more increases with triple crochet. One more increase here. And the next is going to be one double crochet in the next three chains. One, two, and three. Next chain, make one half double crochet. In the last chain, three single crochets. One, two and three now we are going to place a marker in the second single crochet and we are going to be working in the opposite way repeating what we did in this side so in the first stitch one half double crochet then three double crochets one two and three in the next three stitches we are going to make increases with triple crochets one 
we have the first increase two more to go And this is going to be the third increase with triple crochet. In the next three stitches, we are going to make double crochets. One, two, and three. Half double crochet in the next stitch. And one single crochet in the last stitch. Finish with a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. We are going to use the 26 gouge for the petals and the 22 gouge for the leaves. So in the second round, we're going to attach uh, the wire you are going to place it between the hook and the yarn chain one we're going to dip here about one inch and a half and we are going to make single crochet until we reach the marker just make one single crochet in each stitch to the marker And when you reach the marker, in this stitch, we are going to make one single crochet, one chain, and make one slip stitch taking these two loops here. And make one more single crochet into the same space. Now we're going to finish making one single crochet in each stitch all the way to the end. Okay, just continue making one single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, the stitch that you see here, this is a slip stitch from the previous round, so don't make any single crochets there. Uh, we're going to slip a stitch on top of the first single crochet here. The next step is going to be cutting the wire. And then we are going to take this loop here, make a big loop, and then pass the two wires in the loop, just like that. And then we are going to wrap the wire. When you're done, pass the yarn in between the two wires and just turn up. A couple of times and ready okay we need to make six of these for each of the flowers and we are going to make uh, the leaves and for that we're going to take the green color make a slip knot on the hook and we are going to chain a total of 30 36 chains one two three four I have 36 chains and I am going to use the 22 gouge here. We're going to place it between the yarn and the hook. And beginning in the second chain from the hook, we are going to make a total of five single crochets. One, two, three, four and five single crochets 
Now make five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to make a, a double crochet. One, two, three, four, I made 16 double crochets. Now we're going to make half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. In the next three stitches, we're going to make single crochet. One, two, three, and three single crochets. In the last chain, we're going to make a total of three single crochets. One, two, three, and three. Now we're going to fold the wire. We are going to leave here about one, one inch and a half. I will cut it so it's not in my way. Now we're going to repeat what we did here in the opposite side. We are going to start in the first stitch available here. Make one single crochet. Two. And three single crochets. Then we're going to make five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to make a total of 16 double crochets. One, two, three, just continue making until you have 16. Okay, I have 16 double crochets and then we need to make five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to finish with five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five single crochets. A slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. Then we are going to pass this loop like this. Now you can arrange the leaf here with your fingers. And then we are going to wrap the stem.
And for this one, we need this uh, tool here because the wire is very strong. And then we cut the yarn. And we need to make two of these for each flower. Well, if you want to add more or only one, that is up to you too. If you don't have this kind of pistils, I will show you how to make something like this. Uh, this um, is a 22 gauge wire and it's five centimeters long and you can use any yellow color that you have available. We are going to wrap this here, add a little bit of hot glue to the top. And then we are going to wrap the wire. All the way to the end. Add hot glue here and then just finish wrapping. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you can make six of eight of these. Now we're going to make this part here with yellow color. We're going to make a magic circle. Chain one and then make six single crochets into the circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Close the magic circle, but not all the way. Just leave it like this. Slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made. For the number two, we are going to make increases. And at the end, we should have 12 single crochets. So make two single crochets in each stitch. When you're done, slip a stitch on top of the first single crochet. And for the next round, the number three, we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch. A slip a stitch to join. Number four, make one single crochet in each stitch as well. We're going to have 12 single crochets. A slip a stitch to join for the number five we are going to make one single crochet in the first stitch one increase in the next one single crochet and one increase one single crochet one increase just keep repeating this all the way around and at the end we should have 18 single crochets. A slip a stitch to join. And for the number six, we're going to start by making one, two and three chains. In the same stitch, make one slip a stitch. One, two and three chains, go to the next stitch and make one slip a stitch. One, two, three slip stitch so we're going to be making three chains and a slip stitch in the next stitch one two three slip stitch okay, you repeat this all the way to the end and when you're finished one chain and you can cut the yarn. So we're going to hide this um, tail here inside. Okay, we're going to take the yellow color and we are going to wrap about 
two centimeters here. Okay, the next step is going to add the pistioles. You have something like this, just fold it in half, and you are going to place it like this here, and you can add hot glue. Or if you don't have those ones, you can just place these ones here, and hot glue them to the stem. Then we are going to um, add the cap. We are going to pass it here. We are going to cut this in here and add hot glue. And add hot glue here to the bottom of the cup. And we are going to begin uh, adding the petals. We are going to add three. Grab the uh, green yarn and we are going to start wrapping. Then we are going to um, add the other three in these um, spaces here. You can add hot glue. Then we place the petal like this. Hold it a little bit and let it dry. Go for the next one. And the last one in this space here. And we are going to wrap this part here.
I have left uh, 19 centimeters here or seven inches and a half. And we are going to attach the leaves here. We are going to place one in front of the other one. Okay, I'm done here wrapping the stem. Now we can uh, just place the leaves the way how we want it. And we are going to fix the petals as well. And when we are done, we are going to take one of these pliers and we are going to fold the wire like this. And ready. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like and share on your social media. And I hope the process was clear to you. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.